I know you want to see more ACC on the channel, and here you go. Today, I'm going to be doing a set of course of Competizioni in the Logitech McLaren G Challenge. And because you guys have been looking forward to it so much, I'm going to show you sort of the whole thing here. So it's just gone 7 p.m. in the UK. People have finished work, and we're going to do this weekly race. We're going to split two out of four. We're at Catalonia. You can see by the track map, and it's raining. There's 20 seconds of free practice to go. I haven't been able to do any because I've just got onto the session through simracing.gp and we're going to have eight minutes of quali and then we're going to go into a 40 minute race we're basically going to use quali as the free practice i'm going to show you what i do to sort of tweak the setup and yeah split two out of four we'll see how we can do thank you so much by the way i want to call you all out specifically your support of the acc content you guys want to see more i want to do more here we are it's a happy day and uh, let's start off already with the setup actually because we've got the wait time here in the free practice so I've already gone to the wrong place. I am by no means an expert on this. There are lots of guides I've done on the channel where I work with other people, but I just want to demystify this. If you're someone that's also working 9 to 5 and you want to race a bit in the evenings, this is a great uh, championship to do. So I'm going to go to the wet preset setup. We've got the PSIs there. I think the PSIs you want to have in the race are about 27 now, but that's dry conditions. TC ABS... Uh, the aero, the ride height. I might just lower the ride height, especially on the front. Uh, like that. I might be a bit aggressive, but we'll see. Um, dampers, mechanical grip, all the brake bias, stuff like that. Fuel and strategy. Brakes. Interesting that we don't have number one on the brake pads, which I would presume we would want. But um, let me just change that actually. So I believe those are the fastest brake pads and they will last up to 90 minutes. Then we've got the fuel as well. We'll need to work out. We'll see how much we take fuel per lap and then we'll go from there. So that's that slight aero change that I've made. And we'll keep an eye on the uh, pressures and everything. So I'm going to go load save. Just going to save it, something like that. And we're going to now go on the Logitech G Pro wheel. Hope it all works. So I've just turned it on. Yep. Let's see. Yes, we are good to go, everyone. So here we go. I have automatic pit limiter on and stuff like that. So coming out here, Kathleen, your track I've been to many times, fortunately for the motorbikes and also the uh, Formula One as well. And I've cycled it myself, actually. I cycled to Bar I cycled to Barcelona and then I cycled around the track. I used to be a little bit mad like that. But I think it's gonna be a really interesting combination in these wet conditions. I've also got the uh, race logic on next to me, you can see. So we'll get that on the predictive lap timer. Might actually let this guy go on the back straight. So we're keeping on those PSIs, temps. I have a feeling that it's different in the wet, but I just don't really know what that means. So we get on the predictive one, and I'll press it when we go over the start line. And that'll just give me a sort of like very visceral, those LEDs go very bright on the race logic. And by the way, if you're watching this, I'm going to be driving an MX-5 for real with race logic soon, so that's going to be exciting. Uh, not even in the UK, oh dearie me, sliding off the track there. These feel like very, very, very wet conditions, to be honest. Like, thinking back to the race we had at Silverstone. Hopefully it's race logic is gonna pick it up. We will see. Ah, oh, we got a chicane today. I believe there is a mandatory pit as well, you right. I'm just gonna hold it here, not be silly. Okay, here we go. So now it's doing the current lap, which is cool. 
and we concentrate on actually doing some flying laps. Got on the curb there a little bit. So there's always some traffic ahead, the guy behind us catching. A split two out of four should be hopefully a very competitive split for us. One where we're going to be really pushed, but one where hopefully we can also stretch ourselves, if that makes sense. Split one might be too much out of reach, and split three... Um, we might not have as many challenging drivers, don't know. Just guessing. As we all go off, and we all get our lap invalidated there. So... All sliding off the trout. I should have really avoided that one. I've got to think about my next lap here. I think it might help to overtake this guy ahead of us. Z Sport. He's got a little bit of lag. Let's see what he does. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Either bat out or. Right, so we're going to lead out this train and hopefully have some good pace. Yellow flag in sector one. Well, we will now. ACC, not as exact a science as Gran Turismo when it comes to like really precise lap times because there is just so much more going on. Which gives me the confidence, there we go, we are registered, so I'll get that confirmation hopefully on, on the splits that we're doing, if it's working. Just avoiding that paint on the inside, we go a little bit deep. A little bit deep there at turn one. Not really maximising all the grip there either. Limit panty so far. This piece of track always feels very different in games to real life, I have to say. Because like, it would take you so long to walk up here. <laughs> and this straight is really, really long, but when you're in a fast car like this, you're already thinking about your braking point. We went a bit deep. 2.6 is the fuel per lap. So we'll, we'll do some maths. So we'll see what this very rough lap time is going to be. And we will get time to another one. So we go up to P6 there. We should be able to go faster. Again, we're a bit deep. Pretty even. Losing a bit of time up there. Trying to avoid the track limit penalty. We 
we go way too deep here. I bought this lap, I'm going to do a pit en entry. There's a line. There's a pit limiter, nice. Session is now over. So 2.65 is the, you can see the PSI of the tyres there is very high. So I'm going to lower them all by five. And we'll see what that does. To me that seems quite massively aggressive, but... So... I'm going to lower them all by five then. We're starting P6 here in this split. 1.8 seconds off, I think, is really good for us to um, really good for us to a lot to play for, I should say. I mean, this seems very aggressive, but I'm going to do it. So we're going to put all these down to 25. I just feel like in the wet, you probably want more contact patches, but. I was unable to find anything giving me any information of what to do in the wet, so <laughs> we're going to roll with that and we'll take the blame. Brakes, fuel, right, here we go. So pit stop strategy, one pit stop. So... I feel very underprepared. This is a bit you haven't seen in the last videos. What did my thing, what did my calculator say? 65. We're going to roll with it. We're going to roll with it. Wet tyres. 30 seconds. Okay. 20 seconds. People saying it's their first time in ACC today. Very awesome. Oh my goodness, have I made a huge mistake here? Have I made a huge mistake? We're going to find out. <laughs> We're going to find out the joy of ACC. So to recap. It's a 40 minute race here in ACC. And uh, it's wet conditions. And I've got 40 litres of fuel in anticipating a mandatory fuel stop where we're going to put 25 litres in at the stop. When exactly we're going to come in, I don't know. Uh, a lot of things I don't know. <laughs> and I can't see a lot. But I'm excited to be here in Lodge McLaren G Challenge Community Circuit. And I know you guys and girls are really enjoying it. If you're enjoying it, please do hit that like button. Let me know in the comments any tips you got, any observations. But we're about to go racing here. Drop back a little bit. Keep it at 70. That'll do me. I'm not a perfectionist. Go, 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 go. Well, lots of people got drive throughs We didn't. Oh, my word. Holy moly. Everyone is. Car on the right. Car on the right. It's going to be a wild one today. Car on the right. Car it's going right. to be a wild one. I smell a podium if we can do it, chat. That's a lot of drive-throughs. That's a lot of drive-throughs there. Someone was obviously on a mad pace. A mad pace. Now, only our strat, really, can massively hamper us. Or we get it. Oh, there's a big contact behind. My word. Huge contact there. Chat, did you see all of that behind us? Hey, chat, we're not live. Oh. He's gone wide. Let's have him. Let's have him. It's a fellow McLaren. 
Oh, there was a bit of contact there. There is a reporting system. Did we drift over? Was he coming in? Is it just a racing instant? I don't know. But I feel like we're up into P6 where we started. And every driver I can see on the on the radar thing has a um has a drive through. My foot goes through to the floor there trying to break. Come on man. Do we wanna be the champion of split two? Oh, he must have glitched, yep. Yeah. Must be lag. They're going side by side to the final corner. There's the leader, okay. Are we actually in P5? Well, they've got two laps remaining to take their drive-throughs, everyone. They've got two laps remaining. Oh, big, big accident. Where's he gonna come back on? Where's he gonna come back on? Who was that? Well, that was someone without a drive through maybe. <laughs> this is absolute madness here at Catalonia. Come on, man. Oh, could this be our first victory? There might be prizes involved. Logitech giving away a lot of prizes in Logitech McLaren G Challenge Community Circuit. Some of them are random to, it just, you just have to enter and complete the race, which I think is awesome. And some of them are to split winners. So we're just going to finish and do the best job we can. It's the best strategy for that. Well, have I done a better job with my tyres here as well? We, they're not really massively gapping us. Even though everyone here qualified ahead of us. I don't feel like I'm losing a lot of grip. Our tyres are more towards the pressures that we know are meant to be the better pressures in the dry. I feel confident taking that line. Getting on the kerbs a little bit. I've driven plenty in the wet in real life, in the karting. So... I'm not flustered by the lack of visibility or anything. Oh, we're all over him now. All over him now. It's 2.7 to the driver behind us. These guys have got one lap remaining to take their drive through. All of the four drivers ahead of us. This is incredible drama here. In split two, incredible drama. That was my sort of iRacing background where I was like, you know, from my endurance race to 24 hour races, where there's just no point being silly at the start. It's a long race, it's a 40 minute race, and it could be, it could play massive dividends for us. What is going to happen at the end of this lap? We will see. I'm, I'm mega excited for this. Obviously we need to get there first. Come on, get that back in. So the leader does have good pace. Vartiosis, I think we were racing in uh, Monza, if you remember. It was very close between us at the end. Oh, so someone's cleared their drive through, so someone's been into the pits. By the way, now I've realised, I don't know why I'm changing tyres in my pit window. That's going to cost me, isn't it? I'll need to deselect that because there's no mandatory tyre change. So are we going to see all four drivers ahead of us here dive into the pits and take a penalty? And are we going to inherit the, the lead of this race by over six seconds? Well, let's see. I'm honestly in the dark as much as you, everyone watching. Well, one driver decides not to go in. So what's that going to mean? What's happening now? Some drivers do go in to clear their drive through and someone's just been disqualified. They've been put into the shadow realm. Oh my word, we're in first place. 
We are in P1 right now. This is big drama. Right, when I, I'm just going to do this lap. Then when I've got the composure, I'm going to try and go through the MFD menu and try and deselect the uh, tyre change. Because we're putting such a small amount of fuel in, we're going to be sitting there for... Um, for ages, uh, waiting for tyres, and that's going to cost us. And have we even got the calculation right? Don't worry, everyone. The next, um, this video, by the way, is sponsored by Logitech. Thank you so much, Logitech. In Logitech McLaren G Challenge Community Circuit. The next video, it's not a video, I'm going to be doing a live stream. So let me know in the comments if you're excited for the live stream, where you guys and girls, you can shout to me and tell me, this is a strap, hit now, do this. And if we like it, we'll just keep doing it, chat. We'll keep doing them live, so let's see. But... I don't think I've ever won a race in AC4. Let's not get carried away, though. Right. Back straight. Yellow flag in sector two. There's a lot of text out, and I'm conscious that if I don't concentrate, I'm going to lose time. So let's hold that for the uh, start finish straight. our situation oh change tires is not ticked actually change tires is not ticked so good we have fuel to add 25 so is 25 liters going to be the right amount we, we started with 40 didn't we and we got 10 laps to go which at this rate I think is going to be a bit more than it'll take us to 10 minutes won't it to go and 2.67 laps it's just five laps oh my goodness this is no I'm I'm all at sea chat I'm all at sea maybe keep calling your chat even though you're not live here with me I feel you though I feel you from the future I feel you and I want to deliver this victory for us. Okay, let's get out of that screen. Let's get back on this. 8.7 seconds, oh my word. Remember all those drives of the drive through Is Jay Polo one of them? Maybe. Let's get over that. Got a heavy amount of TC on, but... I think it's going to save my arse here, frankly. Oh, some fans that come out there, braving the, um, not a lot of uncovered grandstands at Catalonia. Awesome to see. Imagine, by the way, doing this in real life, in some sort of GT series, and you're leading, you're the person leading, all the fans, they, they, they you're the car that comes around first. You know, I've done it in karting, with fans, fans people <laughs> but this would be another level at 30 minutes to go with uh, 25 liters in so nine laps I feel like we're gonna need about 12 liters of fuel so I'm happy to go down to 20 just uh, in case my maths is, is wrong but I think we I don't think we should be putting in 25 well, we've got 25 to go now. And that's giving us nine laps. So how many laps do we think there are to go? How many laps are there? Yellow flag Hang on, three. maybe I've got this mass completely wrong. Aren't there like 15 laps to go? And I've only got nine laps of fuel. In which case, I do want another nine laps, please. My maths here might be really horrendous, everyone. I, 
can't do the maths. I just know that someone's catching us. Come on! Power! Come on. Seven point nine. Thing is in the way. It is just because the braking markers were a little bit different. If you just not on it for one corner, that seven seconds will just go. One fifty fives. Wow! They come on, man. Have they dropped back a little bit there? They drop back a little bit. A bit deep. No, he hasn't. It's just a trick of the... They're doing 154s. They're doing 154s, so we do need to pick up the pace, otherwise they will catch us. Yeah, and also the momentum will be massive if they, if they get that down to, like, five seconds. And we're also potentially going to make a mess of the pit stop in terms of fuel. So let's just try and fight it with good pace right now. Fight it with pace! So it looks like it's getting darker. That gap is coming down, isn't it? Can't afford to lose time with this hairpin. There we go, he's under seven seconds. I've lost a lot of time at the hairpin. I've lost a huge amount of time at the hairpin. Oh my word, I've lost a second at the hairpin. Right, refocus, my guy. Refocus. Let's have some good laps, hey? Looks like it's getting darker. 6.5. He's definitely taking a second out. 156.7. Surely he's going to do a 54. I hope he does a 55. Yeah, that's done a 55. Nice. Can't push it too hard and spin the car. Bit of a different line, is it gonna be a better exit? Oh, I thought it might be, but it isn't. Using the MR nature of the 720S to push the back end around. Kicked out a little bit there on entry. There we go, yes. Wow, went super deep there. We'll lose time on the exit. I'll drive this car with that TT come. I think we've actually maintained that gap a little bit, which is great. Better that time. Much better. Someone's going to run through there with no TC, they can do it faster, but, you know, fair play. Likewise here. Bit hesitant there, but that is generally a much better lap for us. Are we going to get in the 54s? No, I don't think so. But we're definitely extending that gap. Six laps of fuel to go. Still can't do maths in my head. It's kind of a different race from your front, isn't it? It's, it's very, it's a lot easier mentally being behind. I mean, some people when they get the front, they can just be very metronomic, but not me. 
I'm always got to think of stuff to do. That's my style. Watch, we shed a bit of pace there, but I think generally we're up on P2, which is amazing mentally to sort of, but also a bit like to regather that momentum I think is huge it might indicate to him that we have a little bit in the pocket still although we're losing a lot of time through here as we get closer to our mandatory stop 16 five laps to go I think the way to think of it is nine laps of fuel is about 17 minutes worth, I think, if I'm doing my maths correctly. So... Yeah, 17 minutes worth. So, and 25 litres was nine laps. So if we come in and there's less than 70 minutes to go, we're all good, basically. That's how I'm looking at it. Let's see if we can get in 54s. We could also pit earlier, but I don't want to pit into traffic, do we? We want to pit as late as possible. If I'd known that we'd be out here, I would have fueled the car as heavy as possible and pitted as late as possible. But in, in, in reality, I've actually underfueled the car trying to be cute and it, it could come back in cost us really still keeping on that delta what a journey this by the way if you follow us through all our um, ac videos this is legitimately split two out of four so i'm struggling to believe it but we've got to make it real we've got to make it real by getting over that line still plenty of things to mess up there I don't know how I'm not changing tyres when I thought I'd selected change tyres, for example. Screaming out of the bend. It's getting very dark as well. Visibility. I think it's a kind of common issue, especially like here, like, difficult to really pick out the apex amongst all the curbs. If we start losing a second a lap somewhere, well, this ain't gonna work. See there, that was a disaster through there. Look how much time we've lost. Okay, refocus, refocus. Let's have another quick lap, because those laps ain't gonna cut it. Come on. Another quick one, please. Four laps to go. I think we're going to be good on fuel. Overtake that guy in the pits. Okay, this is like a different ball game now, I have to say. With the lack of visibility, and I don't really think any track lights here anywhere, I'm having to adjust a little bit. It's quite uncomfortable, actually, to be honest with you. Halfway mark, and we've used 29 litres of fuel, and we're going to have 65 in total, so I think, I think that works, doesn't it? Just to, If we can push that gap up to 10 seconds, I'll be so happy. Be careful, easy to crash over in the dry, let alone the wet. That'll be a big marker. It's like when you look at someone ahead of you and they've pushed out to 10 seconds, you're mentally like, okay, that he's, he's sort of clocked out a little bit. This is super difficult here. Go a little bit deeper, and that doesn't work with me with the TC. I can't get myself out of trouble there. Throwing away all the good work we've done on that lap. 
might come back to haunt us. Bringing it back though. Car's lighter, three laps fuel to go. Should be able to do three fuel, four laps as well. So three full laps and then we'll come in but if they're going to get their fuel exactly right and we're not oh man It'd be terrible to lose the lead in the pits wouldn't it we might lose on track if we do like that track condition all still wet but we have i think believe pushed it out unless he's pitted i can't remember the name Maybe the Delta's a bit weird. Come on, man. Focus, 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 focus on our times here. Focus on track. Come on. And this track just wants to kill us at every opportunity. 8.89 seconds from a lap car as well. It's interesting. So have you ever seen a car out in front in a real race or in a video game or a racing sim? And you're wondering what's going on to that driver's mind. Well, maybe this might be an insight. <laughs> it's not all like rainbows. So we have to be super tight on that, like that, to sort of open up the exit and maintain some momentum. We'll do a recce of the pit entry as we go around. Not going to box, but we'll do a recce. Guy ahead of his box, one of the Ethel man, come on. So there we go, that's where we're going to come in. Now, because we're in the lead, I might come in. No, still come in. I'll come in next lap. That should still give us a lap just in case we really mess something up. I'm talking of messing something up, I don't know what's going on with the standings there. I should do my customary big thanks by the way to Logitech for getting me involved here in sponsoring this video. In the Logitech McLaren G Challenge community circuit, go check out the link in the description if you want to race. And if you've got ACC, you can see the lack of preparation I've done for this race and at the moment we're in P1 so honestly just go check it out and watch my other videos and a big big thank you to Logitech for um, sponsoring this video awesome thanks pit window open see how slow we are on this lap so we'll go around again Six, or do we boss? No, we go around. What do we boss this lap? No, we, we, we go around again. We go around again. One more lap, and we're going to box. One more lap and box. We'll get the window thing open on straight and just double check it. So we're going to come in, we're going to put 25 litres in, which is going to be maybe eight laps of fuel. That's going to give us 16 minutes, so we should have three minutes spare. We're not going to change tyres. And it's going to take 25 seconds to do that amount of fuel if I've done it right, which feels like a long time for what I assume to be a splash and dash. So that really worries me, I've got to be honest. Maybe there's some damage that I don't want to fix. Careful now, careful now. Yeah, there was. 
So maybe it's a minimum of 25 seconds actually, isn't it? I think it's a minimum of 25 seconds. Anyway, I'm not going to change the um, the tyres because these are absolutely fine, I believe. And I don't want to put cold tyres on anyway. They'll probably get cold. So we're going to box. Do not forget to box this lap. Get it below 50. We know that the pit entry thing is quite late. We don't want to risk it. And we're going to see where we come out relative to the people who took the drive through. And if we come out in some traffic, which I imagine we, we probably will. See P4, 29 seconds behind. So will we, where will we come out? Well, the pit is going to be a lot longer than that. So we're going to go in the pits, then we've got to do the stop, then we've got to come out. So moment of truth there. It hasn't been a great lap, to be honest with you. So I'm a little bit nervous because I don't have a lap to spare. And I mess up the entry chicane. Take it easy, though. Right, here we go. We know they're tough on the penalties. So you can see my pit box easily. Just going to manually keep it here just in case. Bit of a superstition thing for me. Call me a Luddite. And hopefully that mandatory is going to tick itself because we're putting 25 litres in. Gosh, I hope there's no collisions in the pit lane. Stop the engine, please, 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 stop it, please, stop it. Okay. I don't know what it's doing because I'm not getting any fuel. Well, that thing's not going up at least. Please be doing something. Go, 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 Okay, they pitted as well, same lap. We'll have to see what happens. We're in P3 right now. We've got 10 laps to go, so we're, we're well over fuel, but I don't think we've lost tons of people behind. They're coming out now. I don't think we would have been jumped by these people 25 seconds ahead. I think they still got up here. So I think it's literally as we were. 11 seconds to the guy behind us. But well, there's been a, been a change of position there, actually. So with 11 minutes to go, is our mandatory done? Where's that mandatory indicator? It's gone anyway, so I reckon we're good. I reckon we just focus now. Nine laps to go, so we'll be at least five minutes clear. Imagine if the clock was 001 as we went around, there could still be potentially 13 minutes to go of the race. That makes sense. Now we've got to hope that this is actually representative and we didn't have a lot of people who pitted on lap one have just destroyed us for pace, which could be the case. dark now there is a slow car it's waiting for us thank you very much sir very bueno the car behind us catching us there he's played it really smart in the pits but you'd need to catch as a Two seconds a lap right now. So there are the two drivers ahead, unless they're doing some sort of masterclass. We're no longer in P1. I've just realised, I think I've played this really stupidly as well. I think I played it really stupidly because I could have just filled up the car and come in and like not wasted any time refueling just on a split. No, but if there's a minimum 25 second stop, I'm okay. If there isn't, 
I've, I've been really stupid, but then what, why would the guys behind us on the same strat as me? You know? There's a lot going through my head. I just want to see these lads box, really. If they're going to box, it's going to be a minimum, I think, of 25 seconds in the pit. So, to be fair, G. Rodriguez is like... That is still a lot of time to make... Well, there he goes. Okay. So, if you imagine he's going into the pit lane now, he's making his way to the box, he's going to be stationary for 25 seconds, and then he's going to be on his way again, and we still have all of this complex to do. Basically, all of the last sector. My word, come on. And then we've got to get all the way down the straight. Come on, man. That 25 seconds might be just about up. There he is in the pit lane. I, I believe that's him. So we've got past him. We've got past him. Up into P2. Now surely the same with Sad. So maybe I was overly worried about that. Oh man, I want to drive one of these cars for real again. Someone put me in a GT3, please. Just, just so... I cannot tell you how nice they are to drive. Like... Yes, you have F1 cars, but these are just... They're more akin to the cars that we drive every day, like in the interface. But they're just all turned up to what is the max of what's possible. The noise is so good. They have so much grip, but they're so finely tuned. They're so precise. Everything is just so, yeah, finely machined on them. No slack on it. 10.8 seconds is to the gap behind. That's the dramatic thing about racing, is we cannot afford to make a mistake. But we, we build ourselves a buffer to, to try and not do something silly. As I think Sad has gone round again, maybe. You know, could, would we have had the pace to be up here anyway? Um, who knows? Kind of irrelevant, that's, that's racing. So we're a lot quick on this lap so far, I don't know what we've done here, but... I don't know if this is going to be a miles quicker lap if that delta is telling a bit of a fib. We will see. Is it against last lap or best lap? It wasn't that good, so I <laughs> don't know what's going on. Asad is yeah, still out. It's now 14 seconds behind it saying. Someone's cleared a stop and go. Very much that old adage of you can't win the race in the first corner, but you, you can actually lose it. I think a lot of people did lose their opportunity of really competing for the win. Then you remember we had that lucky moment, I think maybe even here, this corner on the first lap, where there was um, a bit of carnage behind us. But you know, we qualified 1.8 seconds off. Oh, and I was thinking, okay, 1.8 seconds. We didn't do any of the free practice. You know, we're just getting to grips with the car in this combination. Never driven this track in the wet, um, ever, because it's not wet in Gran Turismo. I am familiar with the surroundings. I'm familiar with the layout. I'm feel there's an inherent comfortness I have here, albeit in a un in a uncomfortable situation. If that makes sense, it's not completely alien. If I was at say Bathurst and it was raining, I'd be like, oh dear. Obviously, I'm on the Logitech G Pro wheel as well, direct drive, which is just I've been using for the last 10 months. And I mean, it hasn't gone wrong once. I've got to be honest with you, it just has not gone wrong once. So I've got ultimate confidence there. I'm not having to worry about 
Oh, is it going to disconnect or something? I can just, when I need to, I could just relax on my driving. So four minutes to go, but I wonder how that's going to work out with the lap timer thing. I wonder if we will end up doing a pretty much a full lap. It might be quite close. I wonder if we might want to slow down on the last lap if we go over the line just to make sure that we we don't tick it over if that makes sense i don't know how that's going to work but i think we could potentially have three laps to go with five laps of fuel that kind of makes me happy that we we fueled to that amount then as i think happened in uh, silverstone if i remember And Watkins Glen actually was the same, wasn't it? Come on, we just want to see this home now. Champagne and all that jazz. Champagne for everyone. Champagne for everyone in the comments. You guys and girls, you're the team. You're giving me all the tips. You're telling me I'll do this, do that. Stop the false feedback clipping. You tell me about, so I adjusted that, hopefully. I read all of your comments, really do. I see ya. I see the support. But I'm still seeing sad in P1. Has sad done some kind of masterclass here? I would... Doing a 158, I would suspect not. But... So this is it. We're going to go over the line, everyone with 1 minute 55 to go and we're doing 1 minute 55s so we don't want to really go over the line with do you see what I mean now so we could make this the last lap I believe I, I think the fate if we get this around and we don't crash I think the fate is in our hands I really do By the way, this is not a fix. This hasn't been a rate, it's not like all controlled. Just want to make that very clear. <laughs> so we'll see if Sad comes in or not. Presumably he'll get a post-race penalty unless he's, unless he's played a blinder here and pitted on lap one and you know, got out of the way lap one. Well, is the pit window's closed, so I don't know. And by the way, Laurent has really caught up with us there, hasn't he? I haven't even been that slow, but he's gained massively on us. So if I go around again, it gives me another lap opportunity to mess up and hit the barrier. Whereas if I go over the line when it's zero, do you see what I'm saying? We won't. Well, we we can we can control when the race ends. I believe. Twenty five seconds. I might make a huge mess of this, but I'm going to play some Michael Schumacher 5D chess here. I'll try to. I might I might drop the dice. I don't think it's worked for us. I don't think it's worked. I think we are going to go on another lap here, irrespective of what happens. Irrespective of what happens here, I think we're going to have another lap. Yeah, we're going to go again. And I've lost my momentum. I tried to play it too cute there. I was thinking I, they must they must have one flag there, either a checker flag or a white flag. So we go again. We've got the fuel. They're on the home straight. So 7.6. Come on now, man. Final lap time. Let's see this home in style. Let's not put it into the barrier. If you followed me on this channel for a while you'll know that we have been to the last lap before and we have had heartbreaking drama that we didn't want so i'm just going to forget those memories and concentrate on whatever i can see of the black stuff ahead of me which isn't a lot i'll be honest the visibility gets worse
But do get your celebrations ready, everyone. Get your drinks ready. If you're watching this video, get ready to uh, get on the old radio and celebrate. Because we are bringing it home. We are bringing it home. What would be the first ACC victory, I believe, on this channel? You can look all the way down the channel over the years. I don't think you'll see an ACC victory, let alone in split two of Lord St. McLaren G Challenge Community Circuit 2023. It says podium there. That must be a message for us. On the Logitech G Pro. The fireworks are for us, everyone. The checker flag is here. The fireworks are out. I never thought I would see this for us, everyone. P1, everyone. P1. We did it. We did it. P1. P1. Yeah, so it's got a penalty. P1 for us, chat. P1 for us. Never forget. Never forget where you were when you saw this. Woo! Miracles do happen, mate. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. You know what? I'm just going to take it in. I'm just going to take it in. Going to open the door. Wave to the stewards. The stewards come out. Wave to, he's waving there, waving the flag. Thank you for your incredible support there, stewards, making it happen. All volunteers, as we know. Oh my word, I feel so good. If you made this one in the video, put a champagne emoji in the chat, please. And it is a 130 second, second penalty, so we are finishing uh, P1. Put GG in the chat. That is it, chat, we've won. G Rodriguez was on a rapid one because he got the fastest lap. There were a load of people that got the penalty, but... You've seen this. I'm so glad I recorded this video from the beginning to the end. I know it won't be great for YouTube and retention, all that kind of stuff, but I just wanted to share the whole experience with you. Because I know so many of you, so many of you said in the comments, I want to see more of you in ACC. So, chat, there we go. Ah, oh, yes! Classified. P1. P1, everyone. Yes! That's what it's about. That's the thrill of racing. Oh, right. I think I will see you all in the next ACC video. Please make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you there.